What's up everyone? This is me Alpha back with a brand new episode of Clash Royale. So today in this video guys, I am going to share all the information on what's wrong with this new update. And I know that many of you guys did not like this October Clash Royale update. So I have collected all the information and sorted out them in mainly four topics. So the very first topic which I'm going to talk about is the touchdown mode. So what do you guys first think when you hear about the touchdown mode? So according to me, the first one is the touchdown is a very fun mode. The second one is the bug that this touchdown mode has. The third one is the golem and the hog rider. So first of all, let's talk about the bugs and how unbalanced this touchdown mode is. Recently, there was a new challenge namely 2v2 touchdown elite challenge and supercell did not give any free entry for all the free to play players free to play player won't even think to spend 100 gems on this kind of challenges where he knows that he cannot reach 9 wins and get that legendary chest so i think that the supercell should give a free entry to each and every new challenges and the second one is the hog rider and the golem so recently they removed the goblin barrel and i think that they should also remove the hog rider from this touchdown mode or else they should give a little bit of nerf to the hog rider because if the golem and the hog rider both gets into your opponent's deck then you are surely going to lose against them in this touchdown mode so i think that clash royals should look at the golem and the hog rider and fix them soon because they are way overpowered in this touchdown mode i think that this is the main problem with the touchdown mode and so now let's move forward to the second topic which is the quest so I think that the quest system is awesome but the different kinds of quest which the game is serving right now is affecting a lot to the ladder. So I think that any of the new system should not affect ladder because ladder is a very important part of the game right now because at the end of the season a random player will come up to you and ask what is your personal best and many of the free to play players have to complete these kinds of quests because they are getting a legendary chest at 400 quest points. So now comes a solution to this problem. So I think that the reward should be increased when a player completes the quest because right now the free to play players are also losing in the ladder matches and also they have to complete the quest. Right now we all guys know that the quest rewards are pretty much low but if the rewards are increased then a free to play player won't be angry for losing one or two ladder matches. So I think that this can be a good solution for this problem. So now comes the third topic which is the shop. So during the old shop many of the free to play players used to buy one or two commons or rares from the shop because they have to upgrade their whole deck in a limited amount of gold. But right now in the new shop there is a combo pack of 100 cards. So free to play players cannot buy that whole stack because they have to upgrade all of the other cards in their deck too and they have a limited amount of gold so i think that the shop needs a little bit of fix and one more main problem with the shop is the random offers which costs gems so as you all guys can see on the screen right now there are 250 gems for only five raid spells so i think that this offer is not worth spending 250 gems for just five raid spells but instead you can play two grand challenges and easily win 400 to 500 cards with that 200 gems and still you will have 50 gems in your pocket so now let's move forward to the fourth and the final topic which is the recent balance changes supercell buffed the correct cards like the sparky and the valkyrie but on the other hand but on the other hand i do not know why supercell did not nerf the expo the motor and the log bait deck because the motor was ruling the ladder and the expo and the log bait deck were ruling the grand challenges so, so i think that they should have gave a nerf to the motor expo and the log bait deck and one more thing guys in the recent balance changes they gave buff to spear goblins and which indirectly gave a buff to the goblin gang the goblin gang also has spear goblins which resulted in a more stronger log bait deck so i think that these were all the problems with this new clash royale update so this was it for today guys and if you guys think that clash royale should fix all of these problems as soon as possible leave a like to this video and and subscribe to my channel for more clash content like this and i will see you guys in the next episode peace out